standing outside of the Basilica of Our Lady of Lourdes at the beautiful shrine. Just inside are the relics of St. Bernadette, and inside on this level is the crypt level, is the only chapel that St. Bernadette saw. She was at the consecration of the chapel in there before leaving for the convent in Nevers. That was about six years after the apparitions took place. Then the upper basilica was built, the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception. Bernadette's father himself was uh, participating in that beautiful uh, basilica being built. There's four levels to this building. Below is the Rosary Basilica, which has beautiful images of Our Lady of the Rosary. That was finished at the beginning of the 20th century. And then at the very underground level, uh, the furthest down, that was consecrated 100 years after the apparitions of Our Lady of Lourdes. And that's a huge underground basilica which holds 25,000 people for large international masses and gatherings. It's a very picturesque basilica and it's very beautiful and it's a very prayerful place. It's interesting that Bernadette was connected with it and her father was connected with the building of it. The, this crypt level is actually based on top of the rock where the grotto is. The grotto is below us. And so uh, it's sort of like St. Peter's Basilica is built on the rock of St. Peter. This basilica is built over the grotto where Our Lady appeared, where that miraculous spring is. So it's those graces that flow from heaven. When you come here to uh, um, Lourdes, it's so important to have faith because the water, the healing water, is not just a superstitious thing. It can have healing and, and beautiful uh, effect on our lives if we have faith. So let's pray for that gift of faith.